Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Self quiz part two. Okay, the last part of the video series where we talked about the basics of the unit circle, converting between radians and degrees, what a coterminal angle is and how to find it, how to find common trig values around the unit circle, and now we're going to be looking at solving trig equations. All right, now these last two here are what my questions on the self quiz are all about. So let's take a look and grab a piece of paper and good luck. Here we go, 13 and 14. Um, they ask you if at that given angle what the um, cosine or in some cases the sine value is. So again, a clue and a hint is try to figure out what kind of triangle you can find, all right? Is it a 45-45-90 triangle or is it a 30-60-90 triangle? And based on that, what is the value of that trig function? All right, good luck. Right, number 13 the answer is negative one half but why well if you go back 120 degrees here and again the question is um, if can you find the right triangle in this case that would tell you that that angle right there has got to be 60 right because that whole entire angle is 180 so that must be a 30 60 90 triangle and the cosine value has got to be this leg right here remember cosine goes horizontally and sine goes vertically. All right, but you're going backwards. Now the short leg of a 30, 60, 90 triangle is always one half. So the cosine value has gotta be negative one half. Number 14, the answer is radical three over two. All right, if you only go up 30 degrees, then you have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. That, of course, angle would be 30 degrees. And the cosine value is the horizontal component there. That's the longer leg, and that's radical 3 over 2. Now we're getting into radians, all right? Now, if you take a look at the answer, it's negative radical 3 over 2, and why is that? Well, when we go that far there in radians, it turns out that that is going to be Remember that the denominator is 3, and that gives you a clue. That's got to be a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. That's got to be a 60 degree or a, a 2 thirds, or sorry, 1 uh, pi over 3 angle. That is a sine function there. So we are looking at a negative value on the longer leg. Negative radical 3 over 2. Number 16, the cosine value. Okay, that's got to be this triangle here. And since we're in fourths in the radian measure, that is your clue that that's a 45, 45, 90 triangle, right? So we've got two legs that are congruent and the cosine value is this leg here and we are going backwards on that x-axis, negative radical two over two. All right, very good. Now let's get into some trig equations. All right, the first two are in degrees. Notice how theta is between 0 and 360. That's got to be degrees. 19 and 20 have to do with radians because theta has to be between 0 and 2 pi. All right, solve for angle theta, and we'll look at the answers on a unit circle. All right, let's do a few algebra steps and figure this out. Well, on the left side here, we have to divide by negative 8. Okay, now if we do that, then we need to simplify the negative 4 divided by negative 8. And the negative signs, of course, will give us a positive answer, and that will be um, the sine of theta would have to be radical 2 over 2. That would be a positive radical 2 over 2. All right, we'll check that out in just a minute. Now on um, number 18, we're going to multiply each side by 2 thirds. And so when those cancel out, 
sine theta has to be 2 radical 3 over 3. All right, let's check the unit circle. So where in the unit circle is the sine value positive radical 2 over 2? Well, if I go out 45 degrees, notice how that would be the sine value, the vertical leg there, radical 2 over 2. And notice in the other location that would make that true. I would have this also a right 45, 45, 90 triangle. And so therefore, I would have two angle measures that work, 135 degrees and 45 degrees. All right, so for number 17, it's 45 and 135. But in number 18, it's no solution because we said the sine of theta had to be 2 uh, radical 3 over 3, and that does not exist on this uh, unit circle. No solution. All right, for number 19, we're going to divide each side by negative 2. And so sine theta has to be what is the um, answer to 0 divided by negative 2. Of course, it's got to be 0. So we're going to look for the sine value where it is 0. Okay, what angle gives us the sine of um, 0? Now let's go ahead and look at number 20, and then we'll get to the unit circle. Let's simplify this right-hand side. So we have negative 1 plus sine theta equals, now let's go ahead and divide that 2 into both parts. So negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. And negative radical 2 divided by 2 is negative radical 2 over 2. Just go ahead and put it into its fraction form there. Now let's go ahead and add 1 to each side. And you can see what happens here. In both cases, that one is going to be canceled out. Those ones are. And so sine theta has to be equal to a negative radical 2 over 2. So on the unit circle, we're going to look for the vertical component, which is the sine value, at 0 and negative 2 radical 2. Let's do it. All right, well, where the sine value is 0, that means you do not go up or down at all. And that would be at the angle 0 radians, or 0 degrees, or pi radians, which is 180 degrees. All right, so 0 pi or 1 pi. All right, now for the other one is negative 2 radical 2. So if we go down, it's got to be a negative 2 radical 2. Now, how far down is that? Well. Let's go ahead and look at, that's a right triangle, right? And that is a 45-45-90 um, triangle because of the 2 denominator there. And it would be in that direction and in this direction. All right, so our two angle values would have to be, since we're looking at this vertical leg here, that would be 5 pi over 4, or 7 pi over 4. All right, let's check our answers. All right, here we go, number 19, yes, 0 and pi, and number 20 is 5 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4. Both of those angles would give us the desired result. All right, well, after a lot of videos in this video series, we're finally done, and you notice how the unit circle is a tool that we can use to study angles and trig functions at the same time. So this will hopefully give you a better understanding of how those trig functions work and radians and degrees are related. All right, thanks so much for watching. Tell others and share these videos if you'd like. Bye-bye. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard.